Welcome to video two of Winter Home Practice Tips. In this video, we're going to be very much looking at the setup from the front view, making sure that you've got everything in place. And then we're gonna be addressing something which is really important, and that's exactly how the ball rolls along the ground, something which is really, really key if you're to hole some more putts. So we've looked at the setup in video one from the down the line and establishing an eye position, but when we look from the front view, there's a couple of really key things. What I'd love you to do is have the golf ball very, very slightly forward of center. Now again, I've got the put out mirror down here, which allows me to see where my head is relative to the ball. And I can see just where that golf ball is relative to my head. I wanna be making sure that I can see both of my eyes slightly behind the golf ball. If I set up that ball a little bit too far back, I can see that my head is now over the ball, if not a little bit in front of it. And that's gonna make it very difficult for me to roll the ball correctly, something we're gonna come on to in a moment. So as I take my address to this golf ball, my lead eye, my left eye, is just on the back of the ball. That's a really good reference point for you. Now from there, I would love to see a little bit of forward lean of the club shaft. Not a huge amount, we do have some loft on these putters. This putter I've got here, this Spider X, has got about four degrees of loft. I'd love you to take a little bit of that off, too much, and we're gonna start driving the ball down into the ground, and we're gonna get a very bobbly roll. We certainly want to try and avoid the handle being excessively back, which is probably a little bit more common. So a little bit of forward shaft lean, along with that ball position, is going to give us the greatest chance of achieving that nice, pure roll on the golf ball. Now this next tip is absolutely brilliant. I'd encourage you all to try this. And this is something you can do when the season starts on the putting green, just to just check in with how you're actually rolling the golf ball across the green. What we'd love to have happen is, fairly quickly after your putter makes contact with the ball, we start to get what we call forward roll, where the ball is actually rotating towards the target, so top spin. For many of you out there, if you're hitting putts which look as if they bobble or you struggle with pace control, you may well be actually hitting good putts with backspin. That does happen and this can really start to uh, influence your distance control in a negative way. Well, many of you will actually be driving the ball down into the green. You'll actually have quite a little bit of flight on that ball and some kind of hops. So what I'd love you to do is just take a golf ball and just place a line on it to give ourselves a reference point. Now I'm lucky I'm using these uh, TaylorMade Pix golf balls which have got this pattern on, so I actually don't need that line, but I've just done that there to illustrate what I'd love you to do. Take that line and face it to your phone, which you can see I've set up directly opposite, and I've got my phone set up to record video in slow motion. So that's gonna allow me to really slow the footage down and see what that golf ball is doing as it leaves the club face. So if I go ahead and hit this putt, my phone is recording. Okay, and what I'm looking for there is when I play that footage back on my phone, I'm looking to see how quickly that ball does start to roll forwards. Now it will depend a little bit on how far you're actually hitting that putt. So experiment with some different distances, maybe some six to seven feet putts. If you've got enough room, try some longer putts and see whether it starts to change. Now, how do you influence the roll if you see something that you don't necessarily like? Maybe you see that little bit of backspin or maybe you see that ball kind of jumping. Well, it's going to be very closely related to the loft that you have on your putter at impact, and also the angle at which the putter is approaching the golf ball. So if you find that you're someone who is generating a little bit of backspin, that's certainly something we'd like to eradicate. What I'd love you to try and do is feel like you're delivering the putter head to the ball with the handle ahead of the putter face. That's gonna actually take a little bit of loft off the putter. And I'd love you to also feel as if that putter's slightly raising through the golf ball. So if I was to exaggerate that, it would be handle forwards and the putter rising. That's a great way for me to start to create a better roll on the golf ball. Those of you who do see that backspin, very, very good chance that you will be falling into that category of the golfer who breaks those wrists down a little bit. Often the club shaft is delivered behind the club head. That adds loft to the putter. That gives it a little bit of flight and that backspin that you see. And like we said a moment ago, it can be very difficult to then judge the pace of the shots and it's also difficult to read the break as well because the break is only going to have an effect if the ball is on the ground and rolling if it's in the air for a period of time it won't be taking or be influenced by that break so really important that we get that ball on the ground and rolling as best we can if you're struggling with that make sure the handle is forward feel like the putter rises through impact 
And that's a great way to get that roll better. And it's gonna help you hold more putts when you get on the golf course.